Hey everybody, Marion the Barbarian here. Good day, good evening, good morning, whatever it may be for you when you get this video. It has been a while since I put out a video, but we're going to give it a go and see if I can remember what to do. As a matter of fact, I thought my splash was here. We will be right back. It was that fast. We're right back. I've been using this soap a little and uh, for some reason I put the splash away even though I left the soap out. Autumn Ridge by Mal Grooming and Talbot Shaving. I'm going to tell you now, the soap, mainly their clay-based smell, no scent that I can really pick up. So we're going to add a little splash to the face. We did wash the face with a uh, um, Colonel Cox before to get oils and all that stuff off, even though I probably just added a bunch of oils back with this. It is okay. As for scent people, it's it smells like a fall forest, you know. I think to myself, it smells like leaves and something. Then I go dead leaves in the dirty ground, and then you know I think the White Stripe song will play it like right here. Leaves in the dirty ground, know so that's that's like what I think of every time. Just so that song's been going through my head a lot. Needless to say. We are using the Phoenix Shaving Amber Aerolite. We did soak the tub. If you want to see the label, the front, Autumn Ridge. Shake it pretty much dry because we did soak the tub. Yeah, it's just, if you bowl lathered, I'd say add splash to it. I put splash on my face so I can enjoy the scent through the shave. The splash does tend to linger. I've used it quite a bit. We got like four days worth of growth. I trimmed my goatee two days ago. I should have waited to trim it until I got a fresh shave in so the lines were more pronounced. What do y'all think? That good load? Not a good load? A little bit of creaminess in there. Proto lather. Rinse it out. I saw Johan had uh, made a visit to the good old U.S. of A. Made it to past stores, bought a lot of soaps. He's already back. He did a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Good for you, Johan. That is awesome. It's kind of pasty, right? We're getting it painted on. Look. Painted on. We have been busy, people. Life is just busy. It's how it is. Getting even busier for me. Peak season is here. There we go. Let's paint it in. Paint in the water. Sorry guys, this may take a little bit of a extra time. Unfortunately. Because that was some pasty soap. Good face lathering. Oh man. How's life been treating everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. Now I feel like the stallion taking his fucking catchphrases. But yeah. Life's just been busy. Had the kiddos. Thanksgiving's coming up. I get the kids for Thanksgiving. Um, gonna work the day after Thanksgiving. Then get the kids back for the weekend. I almost want to say this has a smokiness vibe. And I don't even know if that's a scent note. I'll put scent notes up now. I probably should have said that. See, it's been a while since we've done a video. I'm just going to add a little more in. I mean, it's, it's fine. There's no issues. And we are using the TRC DE Safety Razor with a lot of growth. But believe it or not, it hasn't been used a lot lately. It really hasn't. Really hasn't. There we go. Not picking the nose, just getting the lather out. 
All right. Ooh, TRC D E safety razor. I feel like this sideburn grew out faster. I don't know. They seem to be getting long rather fast. I have to trim them up. Hmm. Definitely could have done more hydration. I think it's fine. But as you can see, without buffing or real pressure, that first pass is just not going to mow it down. But short strokes with the mild. Razor and a lot of growth tends to work for me. I think the long hairs just build up and make it harder for the cutting edge to get to your actual skin. Yeah, it smells like fall, guys. Autumn, however you wish to call it. See right here is where it's like, Hard to make sure I get that line right. We're trying the uh, David Gonzalez method where you just lather the whole face. And if the lather looks in the shape you want, your goatee is going to come out looking like that. We shall see. We shall see. Yeah, we'll say that's good. The main reason I do that is so I can feel if my finger's staying straight along the edge the whole way down. It's close enough. Close enough. Yeah, we definitely need more water added. See that? Back to pasty paste. These are great little inexpensive brushes, guys. I mean, the prettier brush is the uh, blue one that he makes. Looks just like this one. Um, I can't remember what that one's called. Um, I prefer that one, but this matches the label. And I still have it in my collection. Main reason I own, if I, I don't own every Phoenix brush that I've ever bought, but I generally do. Number one reason is, is because they're not worth selling. Cause so like resell them and by the time someone's paid for shipping and buy a new one like even if you charge like five bucks for it it's just it's not worth your time and effort the person buy a new one for like 20 you know and shipping's like 10 so like 15 bucks it's like dude go to phoenix buy a new one but generally if i'm getting somebody starting i give away my phoenix brushes i did not give one away and the stuff I sent to David Gonzalez, which hasn't gotten to him yet. I'm a little upset with UPS. It is sitting in LA. They haven't delivered it yet. It's supposed to be delivered on Friday. Today is Saturday. Like, what's up? We are not the post office people. Get things there in a timely manner when we say we're going to get them there. Not happy about that. But yeah, I just kept this one. Like I said, I like my Phoenix brushes. I like the knots. Um, they're just great. This round of lather looks a lot better than the first round did. Oh yeah. The shaves just haven't been coming as regular lately. Just haven't felt like doing them. And even, it, it's not even the routine that I just haven't felt like shaving, guys. That's about it. I have been, you know, I 
maintaining use of fragrances daily. Fall is upon us. When fall and winter first hit, it gets exciting because you get to start using fragrances you haven't used in a while. And I know people go, oh, it doesn't matter, wear what you want when you like it. I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah, do what you want. But I cannot wear Spice Bomb Extreme in the middle of summer, midday. You know, out hiking. Like, it's just, it's not happening, people. That is, I would hate that smell by the time the day was over with. That's all I'm saying. So I can't wear that, but I've been rocking it this last week. That and Bulgari Man in Black. Great little fragrances. You know, people say Spice Bomb Extreme isn't as good as the Bulgari Man in Black. But I'm here to tell you. Uh, it still doesn't perform like Spice Bomb. And I smell some of the alcohol from the fragrance off the top. You don't get that with Spice Bomb. But the price difference in the fragrances is huge. Not huge, but there is a difference. But even at Bulg Bulgari Man in Black's price point, no, no. <laughs> Bulgari Man in Black price point, uh, is still, you still shouldn't be getting alcohol off the top, in my opinion. But whatever. It goes away rather quickly, because the scent of alcohol will dissipate, because alcohol dissipates very quickly in the air. Alright guys, I would do a rinse up and all that, but we already did it on the, uh, it's going to say on the clock, but on the video. So we're going to finish it up with the Autumn Ridge. It, it really does. It, it smells like a forest in the fall, going hiking, daytime, evening, whatever it may be. I kind of picture nighttime, but that's just me. No burn. But I have gotten mail to burn before, which means it was a rough shave I had. So... And it, it was alcohol burn. It wasn't a fragrance reaction. You can tell the difference in the burns. So, all right, people. If you watched, if you made it this far, thank you very much. Please consider giving me a thumbs up. Thumbs down, doesn't matter. And hope to catch you guys sometime later.